Hi, welcome to High Rollers TV. We're at Cars and Coffee at Blackwood and I'm your hostess, Emily. So this is a particularly rare car, um, but uh, a lot of them now have been uh, modified with big aluminium V8 mid-mounted engines in them in the US, so it's very hard to find an original car. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that. Can we really appreciate it. My pleasure. That. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hi, everyone. I have Nathan here with me today. Now, Nathan, what car do you have with us? Uh, I've actually got my pop gold Corona. It's a 67 Corona, or RT40, as they call it. And how long have you had this for? Oh, well, I've been custodian of it for about 15 years. But yeah, technically wow. it's a one owner car. So yeah, my grandfather bought it from you and uh, yeah, been in the family ever since. Awesome bit of history behind it, which is always nice. Now, have you done any modifications, any work to it all you'd like to share with us? Um, well, no mods. It's stuck as a rock. In fact, it's got a lot of the plastic on the interior from, from when Pop was a bit fastidious with it when he wow. bought it. Um, only thing we've really done is replace the brake master cylinder, which conveniently you can still buy new. So the rest of it's all ridgy ditch. Yeah. And how long have you had this for again? Sorry. Oh, so it's about 15 years. 15 yeah. years? Yep, yeah, no worries. And have you got any advice to anybody who's looking at buying one of these? Oh, well, I don't think there's a lot of them around. They were neglected, you know, you'd compare it these days to a Toyota Camry. No one's really babying a Toyota Camry and waiting for it to be something <laughs> unique and special. But because they weren't interesting, no one looked after them. So now there's not a lot in this good a neck. But yeah, it gets a bit of interest from the JDM Chrome sort of fanboys these days. So yeah, That's something it. a bit different. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for that, Nathan. We appreciate it. No worries. Thank Thanks. you. Today I bought my Camaro, 69 Camaro, Z28. Yep. And how long have you had it for? Uh, 2009 I bought it. Yep. And then I bought it from America. It got here about 2010. Unfortunately when it got here it wasn't as good as the guy said it was. So I pretty much had to rebuild it. So I stripped it to a bare shell and uh, started from scratch. And you know, it's a good car now. Yeah. You know, it's just yep. a good driver, nice car. Awesome. Now obviously having to redo the car, what, any certain modifications or anything like that you've done to the car? Would you like to share with us? Because it's like a left-hand drive, yep. you've got to basically leave it standard here in Adelaide. So it has to be how it left the factory. So you know the engine has been rebuilt, but you know it's a factory specs. You can put a little, a little bit bigger cam in it and things like that. But it's got to be pretty much standard. So it hasn't really got any modifications on it. But yep. you know, like it's you know, 400 horsepower, 3 350 chef. So it's got to go there. so it doesn't need a lot anyway. It's awesome. Pretty good. Yeah. So if anybody was looking at buying one of these cars, what advice would you give them? Um, try and get someone, and if you're going to buy it from America or Australia, you get someone who knows what they're doing to have a look at it first. Like I bought it off the internet 
and he, 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 his name was Jeff, my name was Jeff, and I yep. sent photos of myself, and he sent photos of myself, and I Google Earthed his house, and, and every, so, you know, I could, full I, extreme. Yeah, I could see, I did everything but get someone to look at it, yeah. but, you know, I didn't know anybody in, in Kentucky to go and look at it, so, you know, I thought I could, like, sort of trust him, and then when it got here, and I put it up on a hoist, and it had, like, holes in the floor, so, you know, I made the decision to strip it and start again. A lot of hard work to get in the car then. Obviously, it's all paid yeah. off now because it does look fantastic. Now, speaking of the Extreme Horsepower Show, when is this this year? Um, November 25 and 26. So it's like a Friday night, all day Saturday, Saturday night. And yep. we, it used to be called the Extreme Horsepower Show. We now market it as the um, Adelaide Auto Expo. Because in the old days, we had like entrance. Oh, my car has got Extreme Horsepower. So, you know, I don't want to enter the car. So we softer a little bit called the Adelaide Auto Expo because we have the Adelaide Hot Rod Show, we have the extreme part of it as well, the Dino Comp, there's um, a Splash Car Wash, bring all these like Lambos and Ferraris and stuff like that, we've got new cars there, so it is like an auto expo now, it's got a bit of everything, you know, there's Japanese stuff there, some Euro stuff, so it has sort of grown up from the old extreme horsepower days, so yeah, it's going to be changed to the Adelaide Auto Expo. Fantastic. So all you car enthusiasts looking at doing something over the November break and over the long weekend, this is definitely the place to go. Thank you for having us, Jeff. Thanks, Thanks. Amy. Hi guys, I have Jason here with me today. Now Jason, what car do you have here with us? Uh, we got a 2001 S15. Yep. And how long have you had this for? Uh, probably about a year, just over a year this car. Yep. And any modifications, any work that you've done to the car um, that you'd like to share with us? It's actually running a stock engine, but as you can see, we've got a uh, Z32 gearbox conversion, three and a half inch single piece tail shaft, custom exhaust, a TDA6 hypergear turbo, 260bc cams, 1000cc injectors, and uh, 460 litre fuel pump. At the moment, we've run it up to a uh, straight tune of 23 pounds, which makes 366 rear wheel kilowatts. Um, we we'll also run water injection as well for a bit of safety. We have had it up to 388 kilowatts on 25 pm with a little bit of an ignition breakdown, but we'll get back there and have another shot of that soon. Wow, sounds pretty impressive to me. Now, how long have you had the car for? Uh, just over a year, this just one. Just over a yeah, year? Yeah, just over yep. a year. Pretty well bought it. It was 100% stock when I bought it off a lady. It's Australian delivered. Uh, I think it was about two weeks and we'd had all the work done on it. And then we had a nice little defect stick on the window about two days after that. Of course. Um, so we turned it back to stock and I think it was 22 hours after that we had it back to where it is again today. So Fantastic. it's just pretty well daily driven as well. Yep, so anybody looking at buying one of these, what advice would you give them? Um, yeah, no, they're a good car, I like them, they're fun. Um, yeah, just just get one that's, that's been looked after basically. This has actually got 240,000 Ks on the top. Um, but it was always regularly serviced and still makes power, so done. Excellent, fantastic. Well, thank you for your time, Jason. We appreciate it. Cheers. Hey guys, uh, we have Brad here. Now, Brad, what do you own? Yeah, I own a 2016 Audi R8 V10 Plus. Yeah. Awesome, fantastic. Now, of all cars, what made you choose the Audi? Because um, this one's shape is fantastic and uh, they have like the exact play mechanics with the Lamborghini Huracan. Awesome. And uh, like it's the newest version and uh, it's actually it's kind of, because with the beat and fast, it's very fast and the uh, driving is so comfortable. Awesome, sounds very, very nice. Now, how long have you owned this I just, car for? I just picked it up uh, yesterday. Brand <laughs> new, there you go, guys. Awesome, well, thank you for that, Brad. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks. Awesome. Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Kane. Now, Kane, what car hey do you own? I own a C63 uh, Orange. It's wrapped, um, it's an AMG, and it's a 2009. Yep, awesome. Um, so obviously you've got the year and the making model in there. Uh, how long have you owned the car for? Uh, probably about eight months now. Yeah, um, loving, loving it. every moment of it. Yeah. Awesome. Now, have you done any work, any special modifications or anything like that? Um, the besides car? the wrap, I've done a few carbon fibre, um, as you can probably see. Um, but no, that's pretty about, about it. Just yep. uh, visual mods, really. Yeah, it is nice and bright. Definitely stands out, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, now, have you got any advice for anybody who are looking at buying? Oh, now practicality probably. So like, yep. you know, for me, I carry quite a few people around. So four doors was a must. Um, and the boot uh, has to be pretty big. But yeah, that's about yep. it. For, and yeah, I would just say whatever's practical. Awesome. Yep. Great looking car. Thank you for your time, Kate. No, not Thanks. a problem.